Good morning, boys and girls. It is Tuesday, November 8th. It is a day one. Please stand for the pledge. Face the flag and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All righty. For lunch today, it is Tuesday, and that means it is nachos. Yes, nachos for breakfast, or not breakfast, lunch. Nachos. Uh, there are no birthdays today. So sad. Uh, today, you probably noticed it on your way in, it is super sunny. We're still only going to have about a high of 50. So, again, I, I'm saying it too much. If you bring a coat out on the playground, you are responsible for bringing it back in. Don't leave it out there, please. Make sure you pick it up. Alrighty, yes, it is Heart Ticket Tuesday. I got tickets already picked out, but we got some announcements to make. So, first thing, let's talk breakfast. A lot of you have already gone there, but we need to clean this up. There are too many people hanging out in the cafeteria after they get their breakfast and wandering around. Once you get it, you need to show heart and being honest and being responsible and acting safely by going directly to class afterwards. I'm also noticing... Some people continue to letting people go ahead of them in line, so it takes longer for them to get back to class. No, you get in line, you go through line, you go to class. And now my last thing about breakfast. When you head to breakfast, we are asking that everyone go down the hallway by the nurse's office in the gym to breakfast, and then leave through the small hallway by my office. Again, that is down the hallway by the nurse's office and gym, go through the lunch line and exit only through the small office, small hallway by my office. That's going to become an exit only because we've had too many people collide in that area and it's not safe. So please try to remember to do that. Teachers remind students that's how we want people to go in and out of the cafeteria for breakfast just to keep people safe and keep people moving. Too many people lingering in the cafeteria. On to other things. Speaking of showing heart, I'm going to have to say it again. And it's getting really tiring. And this is more towards the boys. When you use the restrooms, you get in, you wash your hands, you dry them cleanly, you put your garbage in the garbage can, and you leave. There is no goofing around in there. You get in, you get out. That's it. Nothing else. Get in, get out. Teachers, again, please remind our gentlemen to behave like gentlemen. Thank you. All righty. I got a lot of questions about this yesterday. Who won the pumpkins? Who won the pumpkins? Mrs. Costello, share with me who has one of the pumpkins, but I don't think I'm going to tell you. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you. All righty. Quiet drum roll. First winner up is Griffin from Miss Jewett's class. Woo! Another drum roll. Another drum roll. Two more winners. The next winner up is Victoria from Crawford and Martello's class. Woo! And the last winner. Small drum roll. Is Grace from Mr. Goose's class. Woo! Alrighty, yes! Congrats to you three on winning that pumpkin contest. Alrighty. Yes, it's Hard Ticket Tuesday. I want to talk about a new reward for winning Hard Ticket Tuesday. So, yes, in the past, people can obviously still come down and pick prizes out of the prize bins or candy. But now we are also offering experiences. Lots of adults in this building have volunteered their time to offer experiences to Hard Ticket Tuesday winners. So, you could do activities like Miss Weitzel. I believe you could do activities with Miss Costello, me, Dr. Bello, uh, Miss Young. The, the list goes on. There's like 20 adults on that list. I can't name them all off the top of my head, but there are 20 adults offering up their time to do an experience with you. So if you are a winner, you have those options as well. Now, my first winner up, Jermo, is Kristen from Miss Antonelli's class. Woo! My next winner is Lucy from Miss Kimber's class. Then Tima from Miss Campbell's class. Then Anthony from Miss Coleman's class. And finally, Charlie from Mrs. Jones' class. You five, stop on down, claim your prize, and congratulations. Now, we are getting a lot of heart tickets. You probably can't see them all there. We're getting a lot of heart tickets. I want to fill this thing before winter break. Let's fill this thing. All right. Now, last week, we witnessed Mrs. Costello in the library showing perfect heart. Um... I don't know how to preview this next one, uh, other than the fact that it is Mr. Dijon in the hallway. I'll let you guys be the judge on if he's showing hard or not. You 
talk as a class, see what he could be doing better. And there's also a special appearance from a student in the background that is definitely showing heart. Alrighty. Other than that, it is Election Tuesday. Remind your big person at home to get out and vote. And we're back. Wow, that was impressive by Mrs. Costello. Yeah, she was really showing us how to put the books away, walk quietly in the library, and not make a mess of what is a really organized system of books that we have. She's really trying to get herself out of sixth place. Yeah. So now we're going to head it over to Mr. Dijon in the hall. Tell us a little backstory about Mr. Dijon right now. So right now, Mr. Dijon is in seventh place, and he is really working to move up the leaderboard. So he's taking extra precautions in the hallway, like staying in a line, walking quietly, not touching things that don't belong to mm -hmm. him, because he's really trying to jump up the leaderboard in this yeah. heart competition. Let's see how he does. And we're back at the LP Heart Tournament watching Mr. Jean, who was high on the air. Oh, he oh, God. was on the right side Mr. of the Mr. Closter, what is he doing? I don't know. I'm not used to seeing kids run down the hall like that. And, and a dance move? He started out so great. It was good. This is really going to cost some points. Can, right? Oh, no, not the trash can. He sees it, but what is it? Why? Why would he touch it? Oh, my goodness. This looks Boy, terrible. He is if only he could take here. examples from our other students walking down the hall over here, being nice yeah. and quiet. Beautiful. Beautiful by Liam.